Hi guys, how are you? Hi guys, <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I have no excuse for this video. I just, I really genuinely wanted to sit down and talk to you about anything because I just wanted to talk to you. Uh, today is a very gloomy day here in Brooklyn and I've been feeling so unmotivated lately. I don't know why. It happened, it started last week and I tried to brush it off and just like keep pushing through and do things that I liked and loved. And after a while I realized, no, this is not going away. So I decided to spice things up and do this, a very sit down, old school <laughs> video <laughs> with you because honestly, I haven't done this in a while. And uh, I want to talk about art supplies because I haven't talked about my favorite art supplies in such a long time. So I'm like, okay, I woke up this morning feeling, feeling super pumped about this video and like I made myself a cup of coffee and now it's cold, it's fine. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to talk about my favorite art supplies. And I was scrolling through my channel as you do and I realized that I made a very similar video actually wearing the same t-shirt that I'm wearing right now not even a year ago <laughs> so I'm like what am I supposed to talk about now so I'm going to still talk about art supplies and the new things that I've discovered lately because I love sharing these things with you and there was one comment actually on last week's video uh, by the way I had the nicest time getting back to you and like answering your comments especially the, the last week's video I don't know why I just um, I'm, I managed to answer almost all of them yes <laughs> and one of them I think it was in Spanish was why um, why have you stopped uh, is that how you say it why did you stop doing reviews or like talking about art supplies on your channel and that was a very nice um, question actually because people apparently miss me um, getting excited and aroused about paper and don't get me wrong I still get aroused about paper and I'm still that very like awkward person at art, art supplies art supply stores uh, around paper like smelling paper and touching the paper I miss going to art supplies so much now but I, I think you guys I I decided to buy so many art supplies because I finally find, found the ones that I really enjoy. When I remember, I was, I actually went through a lot of my old sketchbooks. I don't know if you can see them. This is not even a fifth of the amount of sketchbooks that I have and I own. Some of these are so old, you guys. Uh, but I went through a phase that I wanted to try a lot of paper and things in my life because I wanted to get to know my taste in paper. I had no idea which paper I liked, I had no idea which was my not only style but which medium I liked to paint, whether it was like Copic markers or uh, color pencils or gouache or watercolors. So I tried to, I tried everything basically. And with that happen is that it made me really, really, I don't know if sad is the word, but I realized that I barely use most of those art supplies. And um, I noticed that when we were living in Berlin or we were living in, uh, in the UK, I realized that I had lots of drawers full of art supplies that I'd, I barely touched. So I got really sad because that is the worst thing that you can do to an art supply, like not use it. I have a hair in my mouth. There you go. Amazing. What a horrible feeling, by the way, to have like glossy lips and cat hair in your mouth. Right now, I kind of made a promise to myself that I was only going to purchase art supplies that I was actually going to use. And um, I can only buy sketchbooks only when I finish one. It's like, it's the worst promise ever, but it's been kind of like a really nice, um, promise nonetheless because now I only buy sketchbooks where I really need one and I don't have like a stash of sketchbooks that are empty and unloved anyway um, nothing wrong if, if you have a stash, a stash of sketchbooks by the way you're going to hear the train passing by and the cats meowing and all of that but that's hap that, that, that happens when you film videos at home noises uh, I guess nothing has changed I love this this baby right here is the moleskin 
art edition. God, I love this pastor so much. Now that I think about it, I think I'm going to start using the other page, you guys. I have these like really bad habits of only drawing in one side of the page because I'm a copic person or I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm that illustrator who once used Copic markers and the issue with Copic markers is that they bleed through the other page so I'm like I will never be able to use the left page because it's bleed through and whatever but now that I'm using um, gouache paintings and I'm going through a gouache face I, I'm like why am I not using the other side it makes no sense no so from now on I'm going to start using the other side and it's been, I just love this sketchbook so much, you guys. I know it's pricey and I love, I know, I mean, I, I, I started uh, to be able to afford uh, moleskins not so long ago. So I highly suggest that you can't afford um, moleskins or you feel weird about using a really expensive sketchbook because believe me, I, I, I know how you feel. You can absolutely try the Hanmule ones are only I found them in Berlin and they're really nice. They're like a Moleskine knockoff. They're going to probably hate me for saying that because what a horrible thing to be a, a knockoff or something. Anyway, a dupe. That's a, that's a more like nice way to describe. Um, it's a dupe. It's a, it's a dupe of Moleskines and they're really nice and I think they're cheaper than the Moleskines. Also, Lechtrum 1917 amazing brand also uh, much cheaper than the moleskin the art edition like the sketchbook art edition version it's amazing and i still love those sketchbooks so much and in spain i think you guys have the uh talons this one it was a gift uh this is going to be my next sketchbook because it was a gift from all uh, my students when i did um, a workshop in sevilla a couple of years ago i think next year they gave me this as a present and they told me that this was like their dupe of the Moleskin one so I can't wait to use this one but from what I can feel the paper um, it feels like a really nice uh, version of it so I can't wait to use this one uh, and um, in terms of like new add-ons or things that I'm now that I can't believe I'm using actually uh, is this bastard this is huge this is I want to make a comparison right now of what how like it's an A4 in comparison to like a letter size uh, and this is an A5 like half letter but this is my ugly sketchbook you guys <laughs> I feel so silly saying that out loud but um I decided to start using an ugly sketchbook because that an ugly sketchbook to me is a sketchbook that you don't mind the result it's a it's a sketchbook for like freely doodling uh to have like a sketching session not worrying about if you're sketching perfect uh for like quick warm-ups um every time i want to do like studies or if i want to upload something to my instagram and i need to visualize what I'm going to draw, I use the ugly sketchbook. I use the term ugly, not because I think <laughs> the sketchbook itself is ugly or because I think my drawings are ugly, um, um, but uh, I mean, sometimes they are ugly, uh, but because I wanted a sketchbook in which I didn't mind, again, the result. And it's been such a nice experiment, you guys, to have uh, like an ugly sketchbook because this sketchbook, I really mind the result. I want my my sketches to be pretty. I want each and every single page to be pretty and I really care about like the composition or the, and the drawings that I do there. I try to paint every single page because I can practice my watercolor or like wash skills. So I, I care about this baby. But this pastor on the other hand, I don't care at all. <laughs> God, the one that I'm using right now is a bendy blank sketchbook um, from Moleskine. I know it's quite a fancy brand for an ugly sketchbook. I honestly will use any brand but it just happened that I really wanted a bendy Moleskine and uh, it's been so nice you guys because I kind of like my ugly sketchbook more than my regular sketchbook. I don't know why I just Sometimes it's like, it's, oh, I don't know if I've ever go, gone through the situation of like doing a sketch and then trying to redraw the skate, the sketch nicely, 
but you still end up, like end up liking the sketch better rather than the more pure and like perfect version. I don't know why, but sketches to me are way much like um, expressive because since you don't like the result and I don't know, it's just there's something magical and wonderful about sketches and I am so happy I started using this sketchbook because I just, I love the result better. I I guess I, I am getting to know myself in my imperfect side and I just love that imperfect side of my drawings and my style so I highly re recommend that you have one if you can. You don't have to splurge on a nice sketchbook. The, the essence of the other sketchbook is to have a cheaper, <laughs> a really cheap sketchbook. I broke the rules, obviously. Um, but please give it a go. It, it truly changed my, um, my perception about my drawings and how I sketch and how I do things. And um, usually you guys, regular sketchbooks, they take me a while to fill out. I don't know why, like this uh, guy, for example, this bastard, I started it on September 29th, um, 2019. So it's been a couple of months. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I have like three pages left. So roughly it takes me half an, a year to finish this like uh, one sketchbook and like painting through like one side of the page so it's not even like I'm, I'm filling it through uh, that's actually a long time but anyway so since it takes me a while to finish one this one I I am almost done and I I started it really really like late what much later so anyway it's a nice thing to have give it a go it will change how you approach your sketches and how you see your drawings and it's so nice not to care sometimes about if the hand was not drawn in a perfect way anyway that's like my, my, my latest um, addition uh, in terms of other things that you guys already know I'm using I'm a huge fan of this bag look at this crappy bag I love this bag it contains all of my gouaches Right now I'm going through a gouache phase because I fell in love with paintings, like gouache paintings. You guys always ask me if I'm ever going to go back to painting with Copic markers or with um, m -m -m watercolors. And the answer is, like, yeah, probably. I, I have nothing against Copic markers, by the way, or I have nothing against watercolors. It's just that every once in a while I love to experiment with other things. And now I just love how gouache looks like. I love the feeling of a very matte, opaque painting, and I love, I love how fast you can paint uh, an entire area with gouache, something that I couldn't achieve with color pencils. I love the texture of gouache, I love how pretty it looks, and I just, I love my sketchbook and I love painting with gouache. It's something that in the beginning I used to hate the result. I thought gouache was kind of unpredictable in the sense that it was never like it never um, got dry in the same shade that I was painting but now I, I feel like it's less and less predictable and something that I experienced with Copic markers for example is that Copics you guys are so expensive and I remember going through a lot of them while I was using them and feeling how frustrating it was like if I wanted to fill out a whole page for example I had to buy a new one very recently so did I phrase that correctly? it doesn't matter so with wash I don't have that frustration I love Copics don't get me wrong I love all alcohol based markers in general it's just that right now I, I just I, I just love wash it's something that I I enjoy. The thing that I did with copy markers and with color pencils and with watercolors and wash paintings is I always started with a really restrained palette. Even now, to, uh, today you guys, I don't have all the colors of the rainbow on my, with my acrylic wash acrylic because washes and art supplies, they tend to be expensive. No matter what you're using, they tend to be ex expensive. So I always try to start with my three favorite colors or like my three favorite shades and it's been a really nice experiment to start from really the basic and then move on to more colors 
because if you buy a really expensive palette for the first time and then you realize you don't like the that particular way of painting you're going to waste so much money so with copied markers I did the same I started with one color and then I move on to another one and then I bought three more and that was like in a period of months so please never, never feel pressure to have like the whole thing set up in the beginning now in terms of pencils I use the same ones because I love them so much uh, I've been using the um, Col Erase, the Prismacolor Col Erase for years and um, it's just the pencil that I love I, I love you and I'm in a really committed long-term relationship with this guy and also uh, for outlining all of my illustrations I use the very thin is the ones that I have right here and they're so nice you guys is the blue marine and I use the crimson red or the rouge pavot the poppy red because it's just they're really nice and the the shape of the pencil like the point of the, the edge I don't know how do you say that in English the point of the pencil tends to be um, it, it's so hard that it's um, you don't have to sharpen your pencil so frequently because I think this pencil is not meant to be for like coloring uh, really big chunks of space uh, so it's perfect for like outlining things or like the name says a very thin line to do like very thin lines I'm repeating myself but I hope it makes sense it's not like a very creamy buttery pencil and um, in terms of like graphite pencils I just fell deeply in love with the this one I think yeah as you can see it's really is really tiny but it's the um, Mitsubishi pencil and it's just it's the best you guys it's so nice it's the oh god I don't know why I feel so great every time I feel so great but like I feel <laughs> god, I feel so great every time I use it is that can you feel like that when you use a pencil yes of course you can absolutely you can um, and usually when I'm using my ugly sketchbook I use the Mitsubishi pencil and it's just it's so nice I highly recommend it if you can get one because the color paint oh god it's so nice and in terms of I remember I remember when I filmed this video last year I was talking a lot about my electric sharpen sharpen sharpener pencil my electric sharpen pencil my electric sharpener yes is that how you say it yes yeah I was I was talking about my electric sharpener it was a gift that Ed gave me for Christmas and I love that bastard to death but I don't know why I just I didn't bring the bastard home with me it's in my studio right now studio in my studio right now and I just brought the one that I have with me on my pencil case which is the cheapest <laughs> yes you are cheap the cheapest uh, sh uh, sharper pencil sharpener pencil sharpener ever I, I literally got this um, and I'm like you know what I'm not going to get a really expensive fancy one I'm just going to get the cheapest one and it's so nice and I love it I love that you can keep some of the residue with you and not care I used to have the bullet uh, that like really German fancy pencil sharpener uh, the bullet metal one and I'm like okay I'm going to invest in a really nice one and I hated it I just I don't is there something wrong with me maybe it is but I just I didn't click with the pencil sharpener do you ever click with the pencil sharpener? I mean I am kind of clicking with this one I'm vibing with it so maybe you can I don't know and in terms of eraser I used to be really in erasers and right now I don't give in I really don't mind about um, erasers uh, this one is really nice but it's from Tokyo from Japan so I don't see the point of recommending you this one because you can't get it but it's a plus omni and it's just an eraser I like it a lot and that's it you guys am I the most boring person in terms of our supplies I guess I am because I keep using the same ones but honestly I like this approach a lot I love that I get to use every art supply that I have to the fullest until there's no one single drop left of a wash container 
I just enjoy these art supplies so much. I also need to remind this, you guys, because I used to forget about this information when I was starting out. Art supplies don't make an artist. I, I felt so much pressure when I was starting out to have the nicest things and the nicest books and the nicest tablets and you don't need art supplies. Art supplies don't make a good artist. Uh, practice makes a good artist or like commitment to something makes a good artist. Um, but you don't need fancy art supplies. You only need an ugly sketchbook and a nice decent pen and that's it. Or pencil. Uh, so that's it. I don't want to go. I want to keep talking to you. <laughs> forever. When you're watching this, Ed and I are going to go to the studio once again uh, and I think we're going to be shipping some of the orders for Nice Humans. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your patience, you guys, regarding the shop. We haven't been able to ship anything because of the coronavirus situation. Uh, the cool thing is that the curve is finally dropping. So this Friday we're going to ship all of the pending orders. I just want to say thank you because some of you have been waiting for this order to get shipped since uh, more than a month ago and I really wanted to thank you for your patience and all of that so if you want to make like a last minute purchase we're going to make sure to ship all of them this Friday like today uh, but if not we're going to make sure to do shippings um, every two weeks or something like that as long as it's safe for us and for you guys because we don't want to um, put you at risk as well. So I just wanted to thank you guys for all your patience and support and for still buying things on the shop. I know it's a difficult time for everybody and I just wanted to say that. Uh, thank you so much also to my Patreons. I don't know what's happening, but so many, many people are uh, subscribing to my Patreon and I, I, I genuinely thought people were going to stop being my Patreon because of the whole situation which ha it would have been absolutely understandable under the circumstances and the financial situation of so many of us. But I just wanted to say again, thank you for supporting me on Patreon and uh, I hope you're enjoying the extra content that I'm putting out there. I, I, I want to keep you company as much as I can, so I am working really hard to, um, even though I'm repeating myself, with content like this one <laughs> i i really want to um keep creating things for you guys because it's a time in which we all need to keep each other company so thank you for being so sweet to me and for keep watching these videos and supporting me on patreon and supporting me on the shop i thank you thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this video even if it was repetitive and um yeah i love you guys so much see you next week please please take care of yourselves and stay safe wherever you are and i love you and uh be gentle gentle to yourself especially during these wild times we all deserve a break and to be easy on ourselves and yeah i love you guys so much see you next week bye